it is Marie here from Skeins, and I am quickly coming to you, hopefully, before everything goes completely crazy, because we've got builders here at the moment, and they're banging and they're crashing and they're carrying on, and I'd better quickly turn that off, because someone was about to ring me. Um, so they've gone to Smoko. So quickly rushing in to get this video done while they've gone and taken off to uh, have a cup of tea and do all that good stuff, because if you were watching last week, um, or actually keeping a track of the Instagram last week, you may have noticed that I posted an Instagram and in the uh, speakeasy, I think, um, was it the web page? Either or. I posted some new yarn that was coming out, and it has now just gone live. It's all live. It's up on the website, and I've just whipped out a new set to everybody. And I wanted to show it to you because it is absolutely beautiful. It's a little project that we've been working on for a wee, wee while. There they all are there. Oopsie. There you go. And what these are, is these are a range of super premium alpaca light fingering, American styled light fingering weight yarns. And we've done that because we have had um, a number of you who've been wanting some finer weight yarns. You've been wanting some yarns that you can use for um, shawls or layettes, um, for babies and infants, or for yourself, for garments, um, and something really beautiful and premium. So this is ultra, ultra fine alpaca. So anyone who says, oh no, I can't wear alpaca, trust me, I will be hard pressed to believe that you cannot wear this, because this is super fine micron alpaca, 60% um, with 20% pole worth and 20% nylon. Now before you go, why on earth have you put the nylon in there? Couple of reasons. One is strength. So this is the most luxurious sock yarn that your toes will ever get their little footsies anywhere near this winter. It is so it can be used as a super premium sock yarn, but we've also done it so it can be used essentially as a garment yarn and it can wear really well because the problem with super super fine yarns is their wearability tends to be just quite frankly awful um, but the nylon really does help um, improve the overall wear of the yarn so and, and then before you go oh it's, an, it's not a natural fiber but the reality of it is is if you wear pantyhose or tights or everyday socks they will contain nylon. That's what keeps them up, people. Um, and that's and we use the same nylons that they use in the hosiery industry in our yarn. So this is very fine, very premium stuff that you use every day, and it makes oh honestly the most divine, divine yarns. So there are five colours, and they are the softest, softest, softest monochrome. So we've done that. So when you either knit or crochet them into a final fabric, you get this beautiful, gentle, soft, watercoloured style effect, soft wash effect. So we have, there is a very, very, very soft pink. Now, bearing in mind my camera's not brilliant, so the colours do look better in the newsletter I've sent out and on the thing. So very soft pink, very soft blue, this, a lovely lilac, which is probably the, the most intense of all of them, to be fair, is that beautiful lilac. This is a very, very beautiful um, so, uh, bluey silver, so it's a silver def definitely on the blue side of grey, um, as opposed to a cool grey, as opposed to a warm grey, a silver, and we've just done the softest, softest, softest top. So this is, um, it's almost like quarter tea, you know, it's just, it is, just the lightest, lightest tea colour. And so they've all been designed, they, they work absolutely brilliantly together, but they've all been designed to work equally as well on their own. But knowing that you guys sometimes like to help me, get me to help you out and find out what you want, I have jumped onto the, to the RAV and I have actually done a little bit of research for you because it is actually a finer weight of yarn. It is finer than our normal four ply. So, uh, so for example, um, if you're used to using, uh, say, something like Sockmetician, it is definitely finer than that again. 476 metres um, per 100 grams. So it is definitely sits closer to in the three ply camp as opposed to the four ply camp. If you're at home, actually, and I know loads of you have got these, you know, if you've got your old vintage knitting patterns at home that you've got a collection of layers and stuff or singlets and they're all in the old-fashioned three-ply, this stuff will be absolutely perfect 
for it. So if you don't want to do some baby knitting, that'd be so, so good. But I've also figured out some um, big grown-ups projects that you can do. I haven't searched any sock projects because everybody is so particular about exactly what socks they want to knit. And I'm so rubbish at socks. In fact, I have someone that knits socks for me because I'm that rubbish at it. Um, I haven't searched out any sock patterns, but I have searched out some amazing, amazing um, garment patterns. And the first one is this one here, Arwen by Isabel Crawer. And as you can see, you would honestly, you would think that it was made for that yarn. Would you not? I mean, I couldn't believe it when I found it. I was like, stop it! Um, it's, she's got two versions. That's a long sleeve one there. It also comes in a short sleeve version. Uh, it's top down. She also does, I've knitted one of hers before, she also does a really nice... Um, shaping at the top of the neck with short rows so the neck sits up higher before you get into the yoke which is actually a really nice little design feature so it actually sits really really well across your shoulders uh, which is a nice thing that she does. Um, there are multiple versions it runs from extra small to 2XL but the 2XL to be fair the uh, finished bust measurement on this is um, nearly 59 inches, and it is, she's got to make this one with a significant amount of positive ease. So uh, if you are more are of more significant stature like I, we would definitely be heading into the bigger sizes, but there is loads of positive ease in there to move. It is a top down. The, the body is written apparently in a bit of an A line, so you should be able to easily add in a little bit of shaping if you wanted to give yourself a little bit more room around the hips that shouldn't be too much of a problem at all and you're looking essentially any but depending on your size between two and five skeins of that yarn to complete that jumper um, and that is on uh, in the needle sizes are three to three point two five millimeter um, so that is one option the other option which I have to include in here has just been launched in the last week or two whoopsie which is this one here the Huia cardigan by Libby Johnson and Huia is absolutely beautiful a light through play cardigan knitted um, it's just a perfect throw of a layering piece and Libby does these so so well these layering pieces um, and this one is no exception there's some beautiful nice little I'm just gonna put this up here this is is it going to focus? Just there, some beautiful little cup detailing just there. Stunning. You're looking at two to four skeins for this, so really economical there with the yarn. Um, again, three to 3.25 millimetre needles, and her sizing is fantastic. Uh, so she's going to have everything from uh, 30 inch right through to 58 inch um, bus circumference. So, I mean, there's definitely um, a bust to type of circumference there that would comfortably fit me. And these sorts of cardigans are brilliant transitional layering pieces for this time of year. Or if you live in a warmer climate. So if you live, um, you know, Auckland North here in New Zealand, uh, or you um, in Australia, I know we've got some a lot of fans there over, particularly in Queensland and uh, even North, that still love to knit. And these sorts of lighter cardigans are perfect because they just give you something to pop over just when there's a slight chill without being too warm and that weight of this weight of yarn is so perfect for that. So that one's called Huia by Libby Johnson. Both of these are Arwen and Huia are available for purchase on Ravelry so you will need to buy those patterns. Um, the other pattern actually while I'm talking Libby and I just pulled it out as I suddenly remembered it because I've had this um, issue of the Lane magazine um, out, it's been out for about a year or so, and in there Libby had this beautiful Kate cardigan, which I've talked about before, and it's uh, originally knitted in the Zolana, and I, the beautiful thing about this is it's now available in her red store, so it wasn't available for the longest time, it um, became freely available at the end of uh, last year. And this one is another great option for that alpaca if you're wanting to do it as well. And the other neat thing about this is the sizings on this are incredibly generous. It runs everywhere from extra small to um, 5XL. So there is certainly 
a huge amount of latitude on that cake and it's um, a great cardigan again because it was one that you can wear buttoned up, a great layering piece. And it's a good cardigan that if you've knitted a few basic ones and you're wanting something a little bit more of a challenge, she said it's a really awesome cardigan, that sort of next step type cardigan. So that's Kate, also by Libby. The last one I've just gone and dug out is actually a wrap because of course they scream something really simple and wrappish. And actually I'll pull this off because I know I talk about this all the time, but um, this is my good old faithful Niara by Martina. This is hand spun. But this would work in this beautifully, would show off the watercolour dyeing absolutely gorgeously. And you would just do that on a 3.25 millimetre needle. And you would probably only need you'd only need two of these to complete a Niara. Or you could um, check this one out, and again, I'm going to post all these links up in the comments. I was really thrilled when I found this. This one's called Melody by Cello Knits, and that's it there, oopsie. And it's essentially just a flat wrap with a very, very simple little lace pattern in there. She's gone and designed it so there is just a little bit of natural curl. It's essentially being designed as a beautiful, lovely wrapped piece that you can have and throw on. Um, you could wear it more as a wrap, you could wear it as a scarf. It would, it's a very, very repeatable pattern repeat. Um, in fact, I have it here. Uh, it is run on a um, 16 row repeat. And of those 16 row repeats, there are actually only four patterned rows. So the rest of them are either knits or pearls. So really, really straightforward. Um, she's done it uh, on a three millimetre needle and you could work that on a three millimetre flat straight needle. So if you're not a fan of the circulars, this pattern could be for you. Can you hear the builders have started? Gosh, they, that was the quickest cup of tea ever, I tell you. Um, best part about this one? It is a free download on Reverie. So, do make sure you check that out. Melody by Cello Knits. Oopsie, there it is. Um, really, it's really nice knitting. Um, if you, TV knitting, I call this at this time of year. If you want something that you don't have to concentrate too heavily on and you're doing a big binge watch, um, this melody is definitely for you. And I'm going to wrap it up there because they're going to start banging and crashing. You're not going to hear me in a minute. So, I will pop those links there in the comments, so check those out. I check your inboxes if you're on the mailing list. I've just sent out a newsletter. And do make sure you snap these up because these are a very limited edition. Uh, we've only done a, sing a single small batch, one off. Once they're gone, they're gone. Um, but they're absolutely beautiful. And look at me. God, I'm a mess today. <laughs> it's Monday. It's wet. It's cold. It's all right. I've got the rest of the week. It's all good. I'll talk to you again hopefully later in the week. Oh, that's what I forgot to tell you. Um, Speak easy. Winter is coming. I wanted to hear, look at the state of me. But if you make sure that you um, enter, because this is our prize this month, we will be giving away some of this yarn. And we will also, um, three lucky packs will also come with this. And it will get a corresponding special Addy mini sock circular as well to go with it. So I've got three of those addies to give away, um, plus with a corresponding skein of yarn, and there'll be other skeins of yarn going out in there as well. So that is in the skein for the Okay, I'm going to stop talking now, because they're driving me crazy. Anyway, take care. Talk to you again soon.